Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to Board It Up, a channel all about board games. My name is Aaron, I'm your host, and today we have another unboxing video for you. I'll be unboxing Terraforming Mars by Stronghold Games. Now, this is one of the most highly ranked games on BoardGameGeek.com, and it is very popular. It's a medium to high complexity game, so this is not a, a beginner-friendly game. It's 1 to 5 players, 12 ages 12, 12 plus and takes about 90 to 90 minutes to two hours. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm very excited for this because I've been looking forward to this, this game for a while. I think it was released in 2016. So, and I've heard a lot of good things about this game. This game takes place in the future and you represent a futuristic corporation or an organization that's trying to terraform Mars and mine different um, minerals and also while managing the oxygen level, water level and stuff like that on, on Mars. So here we go. We have a deck of cards here. We'll open that in a second. Let's yeah, two decks of cards, uh, same. Have a whole bunch of these different cubes. Some of them look like they're metal. Let me take a look here. These are really shiny, really cool. Yeah, these are metal. And I think the metal ones represent your currency. The silver one there, gold, silver, and bronze. That's really cool. That's the side. You also have these color cubes that remind me of the cubes from Pandemic. That is very similar. Okay. We have three of these white cubes. And then guessing these are your player cards single-sided these are just very thin cardboard paper so they could probably have made this a little bit thicker a little bit more durable but well that's what we got five of them there some plastic baggies here's the board Let's get this out of the way here for a second. Oh, that's really cool. They actually have the different parts, different planes and different mountains of Mars that's actually mapped out here. That's really cool. And I'm guessing you're, you'll be placing different tiles as you're forming the, the planet and you're tracking temperature here your and then maybe your water and your victory points around the around the edges you also have the manual contains a big a bit of the background overview all the different things that's going on Already it looks really complicated because over here there's so many things going on. And like I said, this is not a beginner game. So if you're new to board gaming, this might not be the best place where you start. I think Board Game Geek uh, tracks its complexity around 3.6 out of 5, which is about medium to heavy. And then this has all the... Okay, good. It has a a key of all the different symbols and icons because it'll take a while to learn all the different symbols and what they mean just off the off the top of your head there you go has all the components listed it's good let's put the map aside you also have a some punch boards 
that have the different tiles that you'll be pu putting on on the map. There's some water, some I guess some buildings. They are double sided. Start player token maybe. Some of the things that you can build. Yeah. These are double sided, good. And that's it. So let's open this up. If I can figure this out. There we go. Take a look at the cards. Price probably and different effects listed. Here's some examples Capital Asteroid, Comet, Big Asteroid. Okay, there we go. And they're, they're all the same kind. Some promos here. Open this up as well. Might as well. Same kind of car. So there's a lot of replayability because there's a lot of cards to play, play with here. It's always always a plus. Okay, there are some cards here that are different. looks like these are the different corporations you can play as and they all start have a start if starting effect beginner corporation yeah great okay so they do have a beginner version when you're just learning the game or if you're if you want to stick to a simpler version of the game quick quick guides for the players have the different phases i guess there we go all right, so that's all that's found in Terraforming Mars. The coolest thing about this game are these these metal metal cubes. Are they actually metal or are they plastic painted to look like they're metal? Oh, they're definitely plastic. They're not metal. At least these ones are. Yeah. So they're not metal. They're actually plastic, but painted to, to look like they're metal. I can get this into focus here. There we go. They definitely look cool, but okay. So that's terraforming Mars. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. I will possibly do a review of this once I've played this and give you my final thoughts. So please leave your comments. Let me know if you've already played this, and if so, what you think about it, or if you're interested in getting this or trying it out. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I do a lot of playthroughs and unboxing videos like this, and also different reviews and a lot of different kinds of videos about board games. So if you're interested in board games, I'd welcome you to my channel. Please share and comment, and especially hit that like button and the bell button so I'll Keep you notified when I upload my next video. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day. Bye.